For this Tinkercad lesson, we're going to be making the basic button. You need to go to the Learn menu. On the Learn menu, go to Lessons, and then Show All Lessons to come to the list of all of our choices. About halfway down, we're going to see Basic Button. So we're going to launch that. I've already gone through this once, so I'm going to click Restart Project. If you haven't done this before, you won't need to do that. And to begin the project, I'm going to click where it says Basic Button right here. This is going to bring me into the tutorial. On the left-hand side will be my instructions, my work plane in the center, and my shapes and tools over on the right. So my first step says drag a cylinder to the work plane. Over here on the right, I'm going to grab a cylinder and I'm going to put it inside the orange shape on the work plane. Then I'm going to click Next over here to see my next set of directions. For this next step, it's going to ask me to change the size or scale it. I'm going to start by scaling it down to a height of 2 millimeters. To do that, I'm going to look for this white square right on top of the cylinder. When I move my mouse over it, it will show me the measurement. Right now it's 20 millimeters high. I can either grab this square and drag it down, watching my numbers change until I get to 2 millimeters, or I can click over here where the size number is, type in 2 and press enter, and it will automatically shrink it down for me. Second step just gives me some tips here about scaling it down using that little white square. And now we're ready to go to the next page. The next page tells us we're going to scale the diameter or the width of our circle to 16 millimeters. To do this, I'm going to come to one of the corner buttons around the outside edge. Doesn't matter which one. Right now we have a 20 millimeter diameter. And again, I can either grab one of these handles and move it in and try to get both numbers to 16 millimeters, or I can click, type in 16, click, type in 16, and it will automatically change the size for me. I'm going to click Next, and now we need to create the button holes in the button. So for this, I'm going to get another cylinder and put it in the outline that just appeared. And I'm going to click Next. I need to scale it smaller to a diameter of 3 millimeters. So again, the diameter is the width of my circle. So I'm going to come to one of my corner squares and click. And then I'm going to come over to my numbers, type in 3 and 3 to scale it to that size. If it makes it easier moving things around on the work plane, don't forget you can use your plus button to zoom in or use two fingers and swipe up on your trackpad to zoom in as well so you can see things a little better. Step two says move it to the area marked in orange. So I'm going to grab it, move it over inside that shape. Now step three is super important. Too many times people skip this step and then wonder why their button didn't turn out. Step three says make this cylinder a hole. Right now this is a solid and we need to change that. On our shape menu right here we have two choices. Solid which is the orange circle and hole which are the gray stripes. I'm going to click hole and you can see it kind of fades out and becomes those gray stripes. This will become a hole in our button when we're finished. I'm going to click Next. And the next thing it wants me to do is copy and paste that hole and move it to the other orange outline to make the second hole. There's a couple ways to do this. You can do Control c to copy and Control v to paste. You can come up here and click the Copy button and then the Paste button. But my favorite is this button right here next to the trash can, Duplicate. If I click Duplicate, it automatically makes a copy. 
even though it looks like there's still just one, there's actually a second one here. I can now either grab it with my mouse to move it, or since I'm only going a small distance, I can use the right and left arrow keys on my keyboard to move it around. So now I have both holes here on my button. Our last step is to combine all of these shapes and tell Tinkercad that we want to actually put these holes into the circular button shape. To do that, I have to group these shapes. First thing I need to do to group is select all of them. And the easiest way to do that is just take my mouse, hold my button down, and draw a box over the entire thing. When I let go, that selects all three shapes. And you can see up here it's telling me I have three shapes selected. Once I do that, this button here is going to light up right next to the light bulb. This is our group button. I'm going to click on group. And you can now see that the holes have been cut into the button itself. Click next and it is done. At this point, remember to go to LightShot and take a screenshot of this so that you will have it to put in your portfolio. When you're all finished, click Done, go back to the project page, and then click Back to Projects to go back to the main project menu.